today? Long day, long rehearsal, and then... Very long day, yes. Very long day, but it was all worth it in the end. I think it was a really good show. After a long day of practice, the buses are now loaded and the band is ready to head off to the USSBA competition at Steel Valley, which actually tonight is at McKeesport High School. The change in venue didn't face anyone in the Highlander band as they put out a solid performance in the first competitive performance of the year. We did a lot better. Um, every single time I see that the Millifers, we do an awesome job. Even the other uh, sections, I can hear a lot of improvement, and it's a lot of work, but hey, it's worth it. And hard work is certainly the key to better performances. One interesting note is that not everyone in the band was on board with the idea of a show based on trains. But after months of working on the show, the idea is catching on. I honestly, I wasn't that excited when I felt like I heard it was a train show, but it's actually a lot of fun. Especially like Ghost Train, I did not like that song at all when we first heard it, but now that it's like picked up and everything, and the guard dance is like crazy, but it's so much fun. I'm, I've always been a Glenn Miller fan, so I, I really like Chattanooga Choo Choo. It's definitely my favorite song. Ghost Train is a really cool song too. It's definitely got like a weird feel to it. I really like that. Of course, the goal is working toward an excellent performance, but there is no question you have to have fun along the way. Now for a preview of what's next for the band. Next Saturday, they head to Oakland, Maryland for the Autumn Glory Festival. And if you can't make it there, check us out here for a parade and field show recap on the next Notes from the Field. <laughs>